R.I.P. to Mike Leach, man. I have so, so much respect for Mike Leach, man. He really carried that Mississippi State football team to a top 25, you know, rating last year. And he was, you know, not in the best health, in the best shape. That proved to me that he was actually dedicated out at his job. He actually coached until he died, man. And I have nothing but respect for Mike Leach. But in this video, man, we got the 2023 Mississippi State football schedule preview slash prediction, man. So I'm what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through every team on y'all schedule and predict a win and a loss, man. Before this video start, man, make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button. If y'all want to donate to the channel, hit that cash app in the link below. On September the 2nd, y'all got the Southeastern LA Tigers. Listen, I never heard of the Southeastern LA Tigers, man. Like, um, I think they are an FCS school. Um, I got y'all beating the Southeastern LA Tigers. I mean, Lions. I said Tigers, but um, by pretty by a lot. You feel me? I think y'all gonna put a lot of points on the board in that game. At the end of the day, y'all are SEC school. Yes, y'all lost Mike Leach, but you know, y'all gonna y'all gonna figure it out. That's just how I feel, and that's just the way it's gonna be. You feel me? Let's move on to the next game. On September the 9th, y'all got the Arizona Wildcats. The Arizona Wildcats is a good Pac-12 school, but they ain't a great Pac-12 school. Arizona always got, you know, good talent on the field. They always put a great product on the field. It don't be like the Alabama or Georgia product, but, you know, it be, you know, mid-tier product. They're decent, you know, Power 5 school. They ain't the best. They don't have the most talent. Um, I believe in SEC speed. Um, so I got y'all beating the Arizona Wildcats pretty easily um, due to y'all's SEC speed. Um, I know y'all lost a couple, you know, of y'all wide receivers over there like Ra Ra Thomas. Um, Kirby Smart came and tampered with them right after Mike Leach passed away, which I don't like that because, you know, you're supposed to have respect for a coach. If you know they got good players, you go over there to tamper their players and take their best players off their team. Um it's like to me that stacking the deck you feel me i don't like teams that stack the deck i like teams that actually come out the mud and win but i got y'all beating the arizona wildcats man pretty easily man let's go on to the next team on september the 16th y'all got the lsu tigers listen lsu gonna be a tough team this year due to brian kelly them tigers is gonna come to play um they got Jaden Daniels over there, man. He's a nice quarterback. I seen him outdoor the number one quarterback in the draft this year, Bryce Young last year. It was crazy. It was beautiful to watch. He is, he can be an unstoppable player. Like he is really good, man. Like he remind me a lot like Braxton Miller. Um, LSU always have good receivers. Everybody remember Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. They were great, great receivers. Um, so LSU always going to put a, you know, a deep, great defense, you know, on the field. They are a top tier program. You feel me? Um, after y'all lost the late, great, great coach, Mike Leach, it's going to be very, very hard for y'all to beat LSU, especially in the first year. Um, so I got y'all, you know, um, losing to the LSU Tigers. Um, let's move on to the next one. On September the 23rd, y'all are at the South Carolina Gamecocks. Um, South Carolina is on a come up. Their coach over there is going crazy. I love their coach, man. One of the, you know, one of the best coaches for real. If he had just had more talent on his team, I believe that South Carolina could be a legitimate playoff team. You feel me? And that ain't no bull. Like, I really feel that way. I, I believe South Carolina is really, really, really that good. Um, so, yeah, man, I got y'all, you know, losing to South Carolina, man. Uh, Spencer Rattler, he's a good quarterback, um, one of the top quarterbacks in the country. He used to be a five-star quarterback, um, but, you know, he's he might go to the league, and he going to, you know, play a long time in the NFL, man. He got a great, nice arm. He just got to work on that attitude. So I got y'all beating the South Carolina Gamecocks really, really easily. On September the 30th, y'all at the Alabama Crimson Tide. Listen, this is the toughest three-game stretch i ever seen. And due to y'all losing Mike Leach, man, versus Alabama is going to be really, really tough. 
Because Nick Saban, he on a mission this year. Nick Saban wants to beat Kirby Smart, man. He wants to take back over the SEC. He ain't, you know, last, the year before this last past year, they won an SEC, but they lost the national championship. So winning the SEC really didn't matter because they lost a big game, the national championship. And Georgia basically took the SEC championship back and won a national championship. And then they went back to back this year and they didn't even, Bama couldn't even have the right to play them because they couldn't even make the SEC championship game this year. So Nick Saban, he is on a mission. Um, I think Nick Saban is going to come out and try to demolish Mississippi State. Um, He's trying to prove a point. Yes, it's a home game, the Cowbells, but listen, it's going to be very, very tough to beat Nick Saban and our Alabama juggernaut, man. They're the number one recruiting team in the nation. Nick Saban is still on top of college football recruiting-wise to this day, man. So, y'all, I got y'all losing that game. On October the 7th, y'all got the Western Michigan Broncos. Western Michigan is not a good team. Um, another FCS team. Um, I got y'all beating Western Michigan pretty easily. Um, I feel like that's going to be an easy win for y'all. Boom. October the 14th is y'all off week. On October the 21st, y'all are at the Arkansas Razorbacks. The Arkansas Razorbacks is a mid-level SEC school. I think Mississippi State win that game pretty handily. I don't even think it's close. On October the 28th, y'all are at the Auburn Tiger. Auburn just got a new coach. Auburn do got talent over there, but Auburn was pretty bad last year. I don't know if it was because of coaching, because the coaching last year didn't seem right. They ran the ball a little bit too much for me. They didn't really throw the ball enough. They had a good running game, but didn't throw the ball enough. I don't know what this new coach's philosophy is. You feel me? But I got y'all beating the Auburn Tigers. Um... Because I just don't believe in Auburn. I think Auburn is not a really a good team for real. Last year, what I seen, it was just terrible. So I got y'all beating them pretty easily. On November the 4th, y'all got the Kentucky Wildcats. Kentucky just lost their NFL draft pick quarterback, Will Levis, so they got to replace him this year. And honestly, if Kentucky didn't have Will Levis these past two years, they would have been a bottom tier SEC school. That's how important quarterback play is in the college game. Um, so I got y'all beating Kentucky pretty easily, man. On November the 11th, y'all are at the Texas A&M Aggies. Listen, Texas A&M and Jimbo Fisher, man, they got a very, very talented team over there, a very, very talented squad, and this game is at College Field. I feel like if Jimbo Fisher don't have a good year this year, they're going to be ready to fire him. Um, Jimbo Fisher... You know, had all that five-star talent over there at Texas A&M. I think he pulled in the number one recruiting class in the nation, and he couldn't do nothing with the talent. He couldn't do nothing with it. Um, he paid for all those players, and he he didn't even make a bowl game. I don't think I didn't see him in a bowl game. Um, last year was an embarrassing year for Texas A&M and Jimbo Fisher. So this year, he really coaching for his job. The game is at Kyle Field and College Station, which is. You know, a tough place to play, always been a tough place to play. You can't go down there and get blew out, or you can't go down there and lose close, you feel me? But honestly, I don't believe in Jimbo Fisher. I just don't. So I got y'all beating Texas A&M and Kyle Field and College Station. That's just what it is. I got y'all winning that game. On November the 18th, y'all got the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Listen, another FCS school. I got y'all beating the Southern Miss Golden Eagles pretty easily, man. Period, point blank. On November the 23rd, y'all got the old Miss Red, Red Bulls. Listen, Lane Kiffin and them guys over there, they got a nice squad. Lane Kiffin always put a nice offense on the field, very creative offense. They can explode. I'm not saying they're the most explosive offense in the nation, but, you know, they're getting there. They always put a, you know, a good product on the field. Old Miss is really, really, really Good man, they're a really good team, man. They put they made Bama, you know, have to fight to beat them last year, and you know, they they had to fight. So Ole Miss is really really good. So I'm gonna have to go with Ole Miss in this game. In college, I just you know you could win with great offense and a you know a mid level defense, um, but it's getting to the point where you you can win 
with just a great offense and a poor defense. We almost seen that last year with Ohio State almost beating Georgia. And Ohio State had a poor defense last year. Poor. I'm an Ohio State fan, and I must admit, the defense was not good last year. It wasn't. We was giving up too many big plays. We got sexed up by Akron. We wasn't really good last year, but our offense led us all the way to the point where we could have won the national championship based off offense. Um, I'm seeing the game changing. Um, that's why I'm picking Ole Miss in this game. I just think they got a slightly more explosive offense than y'all, especially after, you know, missing a great honorable Mike Leach, man. Great honorable. So this year, man, I got y'all beating the um, – I mean, I got y'all losing to LSU, South Carolina, Alabama, to, um, and Ole Miss. I got y'all losing those games, but winning every game. I think that's only four L's, so I got y'all going eight and four, which is very respectable. Now it could be more because y'all can't upset one of those teams. Like, y'all can upset South Carolina um, or LSU if LSU don't come out how or Ole Miss. So that could really change y'all from, you know, eight to four to like 10 and two, you know. And if y'all go crazy, crazy, y'all go 11 and one, which would be wild. But yeah, man, I got y'all going eight and four this year, man. It's your boy, The Slimy Lou. If y'all want to donate to the channel, the link is below. Thank you for supporting, man. All the help would be grateful. Thanks. Peace.